Hi friends, this is Ramna. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this demo, I will show how to insert a row <coughs> into table using store procedure with and without using the output parameter. So I will show a table now. This is my employee table. It contains 13 rows. If you see the structure of the table, it can the ID contains seed and increment that is identity value. So employee on employee ID there is a identity column is there which includes seed and increment one and one. So in in this case, how to insert a, a row with output parameter and without using the output parameter? So first time creating the store procedure without using the output parameter. So only uh, input parameter uh, I am taking at the time of the insertion. So I am using create block. So insert new EMP row is my stored procedure name. So here I am declaring the input parameters. So whatever be the com column names in the stored procedure. So you, you need to declare so many input parameters, but in this case, the employee ID is the identity, identity value. So you need not declare the EMP ID in this case. Now I am creating the first ename, ename parameter, and whose value is again the length and data types 50-50, where care 50-50. So, ename here in table, we 50, comma, department in e department, e, EPT, we 50, and next one is cell, e cell, f, e cell, which is int, and last one is e gender. Get e gender. That is virtue ten. So these are the um, input parameters that I, I have used in creating the store procedure. Next, as is the keyword, and after that. Uh, begin and end between begin and end you need to write your store procedure statement insert statement so I am inserting insert into insert into into which table the employee table insert into employee employee and I need to mention the uh, English thing here name, name, comma, department, comma, salary, and gender. These values we need to insert and values. So I am passing whatever the parameters I have there and passing all these parameters inside the values. Values. See all these are in input parameters. So we need to supply the values at the time of the execution. And so this is the uh, this is my store procedure. So here I'm again there explaining I'm, I'm creating one storage procedure with with the, with this name. So whatever be the columns there in the employee table, for all these columns separately I'm creating one input parameter except employee ID because employee ID is the identity column. So I'm declaring four input parameters as per the structure and as begin and insert into employee of, uh, on these columns, values of 
the, I am passing these uh, all these input parameters. Yes. So now I, I am creating the uh, store procedure. Execute. It is successfully executed. Now I am in, in, I am executing the uh, this store procedure. So if you it will throw it will it will give the message. So it is asking to enter first e name. E name here uh, I am putting my e name here is some name Stephen is my e, e name and second one it is asking to department. Department I am taking is here as payroll and third one is integer type and third one is salary and Fourth one, it is asking is gender, male. So this is these many whatever the param input parameters you declare, you need to pass the values for all these parameters and execute your store procedure. So it is executing one role is executed. So already um, employee table consists thirteen rows. Now, if you execute the same table, so we insert the last record as Stephen. So Stephen is appear in payroll, total number of 14 rows, payroll and 10,000 and mail. This is how you need to insert with, without using the without, uh, output parameter. Now, I will show how to use the output parameter. I am altering the same term, same store procedure. By using alter command afterwards and putting the one more column that is identity I identity it is the int, int data type afterwards in the insert values and setting the values set the at identity at identity is equal to scope identity. Scope identity in the sense it is uh, it is one of the functions it will display the last record uh, that is the exist in the table in this scope. I am declaring one identity even though the, co the column is a primary primary ID as in identity type but I want to show here how to use the uh, identity as output parameter? You need to mention this is the out. Uh, I'm, I'm declaring one identity int int data type, and the output is the out means is this is the output parameter. So I am setting the value for this for this identity is the scope identity. But it, it, it will it will it will take uh, last number last uh, it, it will take uh, last number. So here. If you want to, whenever you declare the any output parameter, you need to declare uh, some variable. So that value is stored in, in that variable. Then it will uh, at the time of the execution, you need to specify that value. So I am declaring here one variable called at idn at idn and int is int is my data type. Here I am executing, I am executing and I am removing all these columns. Uh, Just uh, I am taking one more record. Name is Serena. Serena is the first name, and it is asking department. And department here is HR. I am taking HR as department. And salary it is asking here is twelve thousand. 12,000 and finally gender male. So after, after mentioning uh, all your input para input parameters, you, you need to mention the uh, output as well. Hit idn and mention the out and mention the out and select idn. It will return. After executing the procedure, it will return what is the last number of the 
of your identity. It will return after executing the modifying the store procedure and, I, and yeah, it comments successfully. Now I am executing the store procedure with output parameter. So 16 is my last number. It will show 16. So whatever the details we, we pass, whatever the values we have passed, Serena, HR, 12,000 female, we will check after selecting the table. See here, last record, Serena, after Serena, HR, 12,000 female. So this is how you need to insert your record, even though the table contains identity, identity column, seed and increment, you have to and then you have to insert by using identity in the output column and you, you have to set the, that identity with the scope identity. This is the key in this case, I mean in the output case. Set the parameter to the scope identity. It will return the last record after selecting the, after declaring the variable. Variable and pass your output variable at last and select the variable. This is how you need to insert the insert a new record in existing table by using with input parameters and without using the output parameters as well. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.